Bro, if you want to know one thing that's helped me and so many other people in the resale game, it's simply utilizing services to get cash back on retail items. Like, bro, you got to get creative. See, the thing is, and the problem is, is when you're trying to survive in the flip in the resale game, you can survive off used items, but people want new items. Now, here's the problem with new items and making profit on new items. And keep in mind, bro, I'm not even in this video talking about one specific area of flipping or reselling. And I'm not even specifically talking about limited items because we all know, no matter what the field, bro, if you get your hands on a limited items, a pack of cards, pair of sneakers, a uh, jersey, whatever the case may be, we all know due to supply and demand that the value of that is gonna skyrocket. So you're gonna be able to sell that for more than what you bought it for. So I'm not even talking about that, bro. Like, honestly, I've been even thinking about experimenting with this idea in the drop shipping model. Cause see, people love brand new items, right? And will pay close to retail and sometimes a little bit above retail for them. But if you're like me, and you on the flipping side and you're logical, you're like, bro, how is it even possible for me to get these items under retail? And honestly, bro, you see these type of services every single day. You just don't pay attention to them because I was just like that. And these are all those cashback browser extensions. And today I'm gonna show you exactly how, no matter what field of flipping you're in, how you can utilize this to find items to get under retail. And I'm ex explaining exactly to you how all this works. So let's jump right into it. All right, and so this is a service called Top Cash Back that I did uh, come across. And so I wanna go ahead and show that to y'all a little bit and kind of just give you any examples of number one, how I'm gonna use this in drop shipping. Number two, how you can use this in any field of flipping that you wanna do, right? So first, you come over here to Top Cash Back, you sign up, you can add this thing to Chrome, all right? So you add it to Chrome, add extension, <clears throat> do all that good kind of stuff. Now, this is very similar to like Honey, or even if you're familiar with Rakuten, I know Rakuten is really popular in the uh, sneaker community. But now, you see all these different brands right here. This is literally, this is literally as easy as it gets as far as what you see, right? So let's say I want some Levi's, right? And let's say I want to resell. Let's say I want to, I want to, you know, make a little profit. They kind of log you into the site, like through their portal. All right, so boom, we're just going to pick anything. Let's say we want this cool jacket from Ambush, which is a pretty dope brand. I actually have a pair of dunks that, that they did with Nike. So that's, that's pretty dope. Let's just try this just, just for example. And this is actually a perfect example as far as like what a reseller could really use these for, right? So you see these are what? About $400, we're gonna say 395, right? And so with these type of deals, right? They like, they're gonna give you 10% off of anything that you buy off of this site, right? So in addition, they might have store deals. They might have coupons, right? That they give you a, an additional percent off, right? But let's say we on our resale tip and you know, they say they got some of these left these are what three these are what 395 right so 10 percent that's 40 that's 40 bucks off right so you're gonna you're gonna probably get those for about 350 now before you scoff at that boom so we see here that the resale on these exact same pants that we would essentially get for about 350 somewhere along there we could turn around and sell for it looks like 550 right so you just give yourself some profit in that example right so this is just one way on how a just a tool like top cash back could really really accelerate your reselling like your resale capability right but we're gonna go ahead and try something else we're gonna try something else we're gonna try nike all right so they're giving us eight percent cash back on nike and then boom they're actually telling us like which ones they're actually telling us which ones have what percent off, right? So let's say some pants like this, right? They probably just sold out, <laughs> that's funny. But boom, these pants, right? Or this this shirt, okay? You get this shirt, you get this shirt for 45% off already. And then on top of that, the additional 8% cash back that they're gonna pay you also just takes that way under retail. So that boom, you can probably, you're gonna get this shirt for maybe about when it's all said and done for about four or five bucks and you can get at least 15 for it brand new somewhere you see what i mean like that's what i'm saying like when i mean like you gotta get creative bro like you gotta utilize all everything that you have working for you right but we're gonna go ahead and explore 
some more brands right because i'm gonna show y'all how i would also use this in a drop shipping model like first off i would look for kind of less known less known less uh big brands i would say i'd look for stuff like that first so i'm on a 63 percent cash back i don't even know what this is you know beauty products let's do beauty products i know beauty products are popular right um clinique we're gonna try that so they're offering 20% cash back on this type of stuff. Boom, so I don't know much about this stuff. I just know it's valuable. So you get, you're, you're gonna get about, you're gonna get about nine to $10 off of this product, right? So let's see if they have any additional deals. Oh, and they got coupons, so we're gonna try them out. We're gonna go ahead and check out. Boom, let's apply these coupons that they're giving us. Boom, so they got us. They got us, boom, there it goes. Like you see, they just saved us another $11 off outside of the 20% cash back that you get. So when you start talking about getting items for under retail, right now we're gonna get this item for maybe 25, between 25 and 30 bucks that we're, we're gonna get this product for. And you see that it retails for 46 bucks, right? So um, even if you sold it for $45, a dollar below retail, you still make profit. So this is like this, a tool like this, bro, like I said, if you get creative, bro, you can really like just start to make, you know, even if it's small profit, bro, it's all about how many times you can do this and how much capital you have to start up and do stuff like this so man let me know in the comments what y'all think man it's your boy rico i'm signing out love y'all